I'm with Moorhead State University's Center for Career Development and Experiential Education, and I'm going to show you how to fill out your LinkedIn profile. We recommend that when you go to LinkedIn, which is at linkedin.com, you begin with your free profile and you go ahead and you set that up. I'm going to be working in a profile that has already been built. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the area for your profile photo and you also have a spot here for a banner. Now you want to include a professional photo, a nice one so that people can put a face to your name and your banner can be something related to the industry that you're in, it can be something that highlights your values, but it just it's there to give you a little bit more personality. Your next bit that you're going to fill out is going to be your tagline. And so that's just going to be something that you want associated with your name. You can use industry keywords, but you want to clearly state what you do or what you have planned to do in your professional career. Your next section is going to be your about or your summary. This is where you're going to highlight your value. So you're going to have an edit button and you're going to go in and you're just going to type in anything about achievements that you've earned, your education, your career goals, certifications, your area of expertise, whatever you want to highlight about yourself. Try to keep it to just a few sentences, maybe a paragraph. If this is just a basic outline of what you bring to the table. Your next section is going to be your experience section, and this should mirror your resume or your CV. So again, we have our edit button, and you will, most recent, at the top and you'll just go down and you can copy and paste directly from your resume into this section so you'll go in and you'll have a place to put the, your title if you want to it's not optional you can see um, things that have an asterisk are required things that don't but you have an option if you're full-time part-time self-employed etc the name of the company that you work with, location, location type, remote, hybrid, on-site. You have a, I am currently working in this role option, or if you have already done that role and moved on, then you can put in a start and an end date. And here is the text box where you can just copy and paste the bullet points that you've already put in from your resume, from your CV, into, into your box. And you're going to want to use bullet points. You're going to want to use quantifiable information using the ACE method for clarity, for impact, so that way it can be obvious what you've done. And then when we're done with our experience, we're going to go down and we're going to list our education. Here, very similar, you'll go in and you'll add in any degrees or certificates that you have. We have an edit button. You'll put in the school, what kind of degree, your area of study, your start and end dates, or they also allow you to, if you haven't, earned it yet, but you will, you have that option there. Some optional, what was your grade, like your GPA, things like that. Now that is mostly like your profile, so when people click on your name, when they find you, that's what they're going to see. After that, your next step is you're going to want to connect with people. And so one of the things that we advise you to do is go ahead and look up Moorhead State. And you will see 
you have Moorhead State University here. You'll click on it, and it'll bring you to the Moorhead State University page where you can find other alumni, other people that you may know right here up at the top. You can search by, if you know a company that hires a lot of MSU students, if you want to search from your graduation year, you want to search by different, um, you want to look for other MSU graduates in education or in business. You can use this field to do that with. So this is a very great tool if you're looking to expand your network, looking for people who have a lot in common with you. And when you do find someone that you want to um, follow, you can click on their profile. Let me find somebody. So you see, I am not connected with this person. So what you can do is you can connect. We always recommend that you include a note. So just to give a, an explanation as to why you're reaching out. And it's perfectly okay to just randomly contact someone. That's, that's the expectation with this website. Everyone's here to connect, everyone's here to network. So it's perfectly fine if you just find someone who you recognize, they might not know you, or you've only spoke with them briefly at like a conference, you can still, you can use a note and explain that and ask to connect with them. Another way to stay connected is by joining groups. And here we're going to type in the official Moorhead State University alumni. And it's already trying to pull it up here. And you'll see, you'll want to see group because there is a page you can also follow. And the group has more perks, more things that you can deal with and interact with. So you'll want to follow the page and join the group. This joining groups is really going to help you stay up to date with news from your field, what your peers are doing, and it's going to help you with your growth. It's going to help you have new ideas and new things, and it's, it's a great way to keep track of development. And lastly, one of the great things about LinkedIn is staying engaged. You can make your own posts and you can share posts from people who are in your field who've already, so you go here to the three dots. Like most social media sites, you come down here, you have a save, a share, comment, like, and it just helps you to stay engaged. You can make your own posts, share posts from your connections or organizations that you've joined, and it just helps you to stay active and to keep up with industry events. So in summary, LinkedIn is a great way to help you stay connected with your peers, your colleagues, and others in your field and help them also keep up with your personal growth and the you can use LinkedIn to stay in the loop with industry news, events, and don't forget to connect with MSU's Center for Career Development and Experiential Education. right here. This is what it's going to look like. And stay connected with us and our staff to help in your post-graduation journey.